Cool. <clears throat> so I'm gonna so I'm recording and <clears throat> cool. So today is uh, week eight on uh, <laughs> it's on copywriting and posts that convert. So this was actually for someone in the group, uh, Penny. She wants to do coaching around uh, like overcoming childhood traumas and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And so she's a hair salon person, but then she's also talking about um, like childhood trauma is overcoming that. And I'm sure that, you know, uh, we all have traumas when we're kids. I, I know a little bit of Zach's story, you know, um, and it's just like the more that you talk about these things, like, um, you know, you could put that in your content. Like, even if you're just posting on Instagram, you could put that and be vulnerable and real. And um, that can help people to relate with you and convert as, as clients or customers, right? Things like that. And so um, <clears throat> copyright will be a key part of you to convert your existing followers to clients and book calls with you. And you can start to use these high converting caption strategies to get your followers to start booking calls with you right away. Um, you know, these are some things you wanna write down. Um, who's my ideal client or audience what are their pain points what are their goals what's stopping them what are their interests what do they want um and in instagram the first 25 125 characters they're used to grab someone's attention on your posts um post attention grabbing and curiosity peaking captions that'll make them want to click more to read more about your posts and examples of what works are polarizing statements or questions like this is why you aren't getting over your childhood traumas, or this is what's stopping you from reaching for your dreams, um, or or what or what is stopping you from reaching for your dreams, right? Those are some questions that get them to think and click more to see more of your caption. Um, and three copywriting tips I wanna share is, one is future pacing. You get your audience to think about what life would look like if their problems were solved. So you paint the vision, right? So what would life look like if you're able to overcome childhood traumas, have peace of mind, start getting people to pay attention to your Instagram posts. Um, scarcity, limited number of people allowed in my program, because that creates, um, you know, more people want to be involved if they know it's like a, a limited number of people in it. And risk aversion, so captions that allow your audience to know the pain they will be in if they don't work with you. So these are three copywriting tips, especially you could implement for your Instagram um, to get people on calls with you, to get people to learn more about you and, and uh, work with you, you know, based, based on these three things. Um, <clears throat> you can also address limiting beliefs. So you can address people's limiting beliefs in your posts that prevent them from living their ideal, desired life that you can help them get results with. Uh, for example, in a post, you can do a carousel of how people might have limiting beliefs that prevent them from achieving what, whatever results that your coaching helps them with. And um, you know, what are some thoughts you had that prevented you from moving forward from your childhood traumas or self image conversations? So that's, you know, if you have a post like that and, um, you know, you have, I use something called Fonto um, that you could use to create content on there. So I'll show you guys what that looks like um, real quick. I'm gonna share my screen. No, I'm already sharing my screen. So if you look at uh, this one, so I'm gonna show you an example of what um, <clears throat> what a post looks like, uh, like this one that I use Fonto for. So this one I use Fonto for, um, five things that school never taught me, how to network, um, et cetera. And um, you know, you could use that, uh, it's, it's a free app actually on, um, what is it, on, on the app store that you could use. And InShot is another tool you could use and it's a video tool that you could put text on top of it and you could make IGTVs for that as well. Um, so those are some tools you could use to make content for that, that look like what I showed you. And then you could also address pain points, right? People move away from pain more than towards pleasure. And you can begin to think, start thinking about your major pain points, what you struggle with and create content around that to let people know how you've overcome your problems. So, um, you know, for me, for example, it's like but the pain point was putting myself out on social media you know, that was something that I struggled with because uh, <clears throat> I didn't want to put myself out there and I didn't like to be seen, right? I'm more someone who wants to be behind the scenes. I don't really want to put myself out there. But I realized, man, if I want to make an impact, if I want to help people and change lives, I need to go out there because there's other people who are doing that um, and, and they 
they honestly don't, I mean, maybe their intention isn't really tell people it's just to kind of, um, you know, make money, which isn't bad, but you know, how about most of the times the good people are the ones who are not putting their content out there. Um, and all the people who are just like, let me just make, you know, money. They're the ones doing that. And so, you know, not that making money is bad, but you know, I was like, you know, more people need to step up. So I decided to do that. And I built my podcast since then and have interviewed a lot of amazing people. But, uh, you know, you start talking about these pain points that you've overcome and people start to realize, man, like this guy, he has the same fears and problems that I had, even though right now they look like they've overcome it, you know? And so whatever you're coaching them on for Zach, it's, you know, maybe it's depression or what he was struggling with. You could talk about that and create content around that to let people know how you've overcome it. Um, and then you connect with those pain points and you deliver the solution to them as a sale. So you're like, hey, are you struggling with this? Then book a call with me and then I'll see if I can help you. And then you, you know, there's a difference between selling someone and um, solving their problem, right? And so that, those are two different ways of thinking about it. You know, I, I just learned this today. Uh, one is you're just always trying to get the sale, trying to get their money. And the other is like, hey, I have, I have the solution for you and <clears throat> it's gonna cost this much, but I, I understand your pain and I can help you. And that's, that's a better way of selling, right? Because um, some people just focus too much on the sale, which isn't a bad thing, but it's just a different way to go about it. And like I said, humans are wired to run away from pain or, uh, or run towards pleasure. This is something that Tony Robbins said, um, but it's kind of interesting because sometimes people do run towards pain. Um, you know, like for example, like self-development, you're, you're doing something that's hard intentionally to grow or for example, um, and this is a severe example, but like some people, I mean, cutting yourself, right? I think someone shared before, like you're doing that, but that's that's a whole nother thing from what this is about. <laughs> but, you know, it's interesting, like, there, but we're naturally wired to run away from pain, um, you know, or run towards pleasure. And so look to see how you can start to attract people based on the pain you solve and the pleasure or solution that you provide. Um, and they have calls to action. So based on what you post, um, have a call to action for people to DM you to work with you. And call to actions can be comment below if you agree, DM me, double tap if you smiled. And want to learn my step-by-step -step strategy to growing your followers and leads, click the link in my bio to attain the free training. Um, the wait list to X program is now open. That will take you from A to Z. Um, so these are some examples of like call to actions that you can have. And then there's captions that convert. So this is a Google doc that I made of um, captions that actually uh, can help you convert. And <clears throat> this is, um, you know, something I'll share uh, in the group if you want it um, too. Marissa, I can share with you, but mm -hmm. this is, uh, you know, some examples of high converting captions are like what most coaches teach don't work, but this does, or um, attention grabbing title to be of interest to ideal client, how to get ABC results in three easy steps. Um, and then there's a long form caption where you future pace and, um, you know, scarcity risk, risk conversion. And there's something called, you know, primary and secondary call to actions. Um, so one, like a primary call to action is, you know, comment below if you agree. That's for short-term engagement. The secondary is for long-term engagement or lead generation. So PS want to learn my step-by-step -step strategy, click the link in my bio. So those are examples of primary and secondary call to actions. And then um, you have a hook and a body as well. So it's just, it's all part of copywriting, you know, <clears throat> and you want to make a readable caption. So don't put captions that are too type packed, but have them spaced out. You can use apps like apps for a live host.com or Insta spacer. And um, those are things that you could use for like clean line breaks on Instagram. Um, and then what's another thing you could do is like, you could have a carousel of a picture of yourself. Cause I know Instagram, it's a lot of like selfies and stuff, but you can have a picture of yourself and then have slides that are like notes about you um, or something that you wanted to share. So that way people don't just have to read your caption. They just slide and, and read about whatever message you want to share through that picture, you know? And so that's another way of kind of incorporating um, readable captions and purpose and motive, right? Um, whatever your purpose is for your Instagram, you need to make sure that the content you present will clearly show the value you have to offer each post should have the incentive to educate, 
um, entertain, inspire, or share something about yourself so people want to read your post. Your post should have a call to action, getting people to either book a call with you, get their emails, or get them <clears throat> to become a warm lead uh, for your business. And so, um, yeah, that was it for the copywriting part. So the homework is find ways you can create high converting captions, address limiting beliefs of your potential coaching clients, have them DM you or book a call with you. And then you can offer something free, like a free discovery call or ebook. Um, and that's something that you could do, um, you know, through through the captions, you know, guide them to your bio where they can get your free ebook and things like that. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> so yeah, those are, <clears throat> that's it for um, week eight for copywriting and posts that convert. Uh, if you're looking to get people to be a part of your coaching program or what you're trying to do, obviously this is something I'm working on um, as well. But, um, you know, these are just really good tips to have and to implement um, for, for whatever you do. This is not just for Instagram. This is for everything you do. Um, you know, everything you, <clears throat> like your emails, for example, um, you know, things like that. Every post on Instagram, that's all copywriting. So you got to learn copywriting to be a great communicator. And this is something that, you know, I didn't learn from school or anywhere, actually. I just kind of learned by other people online and, um, you know, I have to practice that as well, but <clears throat> hopefully, um, yeah, that kind of helps you learn some things with that. But um, yeah, do you guys have any questions or um, feedback from that? Let's see. Did you say there was a Google Doc? Yeah, there's a Google Doc. I'll, I'll just, yeah, let me see. So I'll share the Google Doc if you want to check it out. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's moment for those in the coaching but you can check it out and then um see see how to use that for copywriting and then I actually share a lot of my videos on my youtube so i did post it on my youtube as well um so you can check out my youtube channel i, I need to start posting there's mm -hmm. a lot to um you know but yeah i do have a uh, youtube you can check that out as well <clears throat> elon musk trolls jeff bezos um so yeah i have this is super new, but you can check it out. It's on my channel here. Um, and then, yeah, that's it for that. But uh, yeah, hopefully that helps. You know, I, I, you know, copywriting is a skill that you, you can transfer onto anything or everything, but uh, that's something that you want to work on for your captions and get people to um, respond um, through your, through the text and copy that you write. So, yeah. Hopefully that helps, um, Marissa. And Zach as well. But you said you want to do, so yeah, any questions? You know, that's, that's pretty much end for the teaching part. But if you have any questions or, you know, things about your podcast, you know, you said you wanted to start one about a specific topic. Marissa? Are there? Or Zach, do you guys have any feedback or questions or things you want me to go over? Um, I guess I just got to go. I still need to catch up on some stuff. Uh, so I, think, I think a lot of the, the first steps that I need to do, I already have all the stuff I need to do. I just need to actually sit down and do the work. Yeah. So what, what are the next steps right now for you? What would you say are like, these are the next steps? Step one is to find my <laughs> avatar. Okay. Do you, and then do you, do you have an idea of who that is or? Yeah, I do. It's somebody. Somebody who wants, who's doing a lot, but not getting anywhere, wants more out of life, wants to, you know, wants clarity, wants focus, wants a freedom lifestyle, wants, you know, is serious and committed to change and improve, changing their life and improving their life. Okay. Isn't that like super broad still? Like, can you like narrow down on that? Or? 
Um, someone, someone like who, like in their twenties and their thirties, like, you know, like this is something that I learned today as well. It's like, there's your niche and then there's your target audience. And then there's, um, I forget it was like, uh, something else after that, but it's like you, you could get so specific to like who it is that you're trying to help, um, based on like, you know, what, what age they are, what they look like, you know, you know, all of that. Those are something that you could, uh, think about and kind of picture them visually and be like, this is the type of person I want to help. And, um, yeah, if you could get, get it down to that specific thing, you know, what are their interests? What are their hobbies? What, what do they, where do they hang out at? Like all those things, the more specific, the better. Um, so do you, do you have an example of that? Like who's the exact type of person that you want to be helping? Or you just need to work a little more on that still. Zach. Oh, my bad. Sorry, I was muted. I was talking. Um, so I, yeah, I'm not even. <laughs> I'm basically starting over. I'm doing. I'm changing. I'm doing a different avatar than I was doing before, and yeah. I'm essentially starting everything over from step one. So yeah. the first thing I need to do is just sit down and rethink out, think out exactly who this new avatar is. Because my last one I knew, I knew exactly who my last avatar was. This one I don't have the specifics. I have a broad, a very broad sense, as you mentioned. Uh, so I need to sit down and run through that, and then basically I have all the steps. You've laid out all the steps in front of me. I just need to walk them down this alternate path than what I was doing before. And why did you switch? Like why 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 didn't you just stick to the other one? You said it was because uh. Uh, Because a lot of the veterans I was talking to, or if I'm still going for veterans, it's got to be people that are doing well, not necessarily people that are like transitioning out of the military and don't have jobs or anything like that. What do you mean? They don't have jobs? So Well, earlier I told you that I'm talking to a lot of people that don't have money or getting out or don't have jobs, like, you know, or just can't afford coaching. So I need to, if that's going to be my passion project or my side thing, I need to get my message in front of people that have money and can actually if are interested in what I'm my product or my product, my service. Yeah. So, I mean, so there are veterans who do have money. So are you just looking for it in the wrong places? Maybe that very well could be. Cause it's not like all veterans don't have money, right? Like there, there are veterans who do have money. So it's like, where can you find those people? Right. So so yeah, I don't know if you want to change it completely because then you, if you want to change it so many times, it's gonna be hard. Um, but like you know, there are those resources that I shared in Slack group um, about finding your avatar, like who you want to help, um, like in getting specific on that, you know. And so, mm-hmm. um, like you could go over that, and, and Marissa, if if mm-hmm. you're interested in learning about that, I could uh, set up as well. Um, but it's just it's just getting clear on like who is the ideal you know person that i'll i'll, I'll show you real quick if you want to see what it looks like let me see <clears throat> so it's just you just got to be clear on like okay this is the t- like this was something that's it's actually not that easy to do to know like who's the exact person you want to help you know and things like that because it's it gets super specific down to like man this is um I could picture this person and this is the top person I want to help. Like they have a big dream, they have a big goal, they have a big vision, but they just feel stuck. Um, they just feel like, you know, it's too big of a task for them to do on their own. Um, you know, they feel like it's, you know, no one will listen to them. Um, you got all these things, right? And so those are, you know, you want to become a big fish in a small pond. So you don't want to be too big, right? You want to have a specific enough niche or you're helping people in that niche. Um, and then you could charge for that because you're, you're, you're providing a solution. So I help, I help teach blank client, ideal client create a desired outcome without the pain point. Um, and then the more that you get clear on your avatar worksheet, um, you know, the better it will be. And, um, you know, you get to, you guys see my screen, right? Um, no. Well, you don't. Nope. Well. <laughs> <laughs> just said something i was like screwing my screen the whole time um <laughs> this is this one right here um so yeah. 
So this is the ideal client um, <clears throat> resource thing that I made. It's basically avatar worksheet, high ticket philosophy. Um, you know, you want to solve a big <laughs> and specific problem. So I help business coaches and consultants grow their audience on Instagram so they can have a greater impact, with their knowledge and skills. I help mission-driven entrepreneurs build a following, increase their income, impact, and influence using social media without wasting time on fake followers and ineffective strategies. So you want to become a big fish in a small pond. And um, great examples of specific niches are, you know, I teach women real estate agents how to build a six-figure business in less than six months. Um, I teach vegans how to lose 20 pounds of fat in less than 30 days. So very specific, right? So um, for mine was in 90 days, we'll get you to 10K, um, you know, but along that, I also teach like a lot of things like copywriting and other things as well. And uh, I help Latinos create financial freedom using real estate investing, um, all these things, right? And so this is the framework that I was talking about and I thought you guys were looking at, but I wasn't. So, so I help and teach ideal client create desired outcome without pain point. And so the more that you get clear on who you wanna help um, and then what outcome you wanna create for them, you know, without whatever pain point. So, you know, um, Zach or Marissa, do you, do you guys have an example of something that you want to plug into here? Do you have like an idea? <clears throat> oh, like any idea? Yeah, just like, you know, it's like for your podcast, it could be, you know, why do you want to do that? I want to help blank create blank without blank, you know? Mm. You think of an idea. If you have one in mind. Not as cool too. <laughs> um, yeah. Do you or not really? Just like, I'm sure. Oh, you're talking to me? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Or oh, Zach. Yeah. Zach, do you, you, do you have something you could plug into this framework that you can? I'm looking at it. um it's hard man it's just not easy it's really <laughs> hard it is yeah because because sometimes you're just like hey like yeah I'm, I'm i'm down to help anyone you know but it's like hey like who is it that you really want to help right and you even think about yourself you know marissa starting a podcast it's not easy <clears throat> um it's a long-term game i told you but it's like you know it's because you want to help someone right so maybe i want to help you know um struggling you know, aspiring entrepreneurs create a, a coaching program without um, feeling lost or unheard or unnoticed, right? Like that's a framework. Or I help, um, you know, people with social anxiety create um, amazing content on social media without feeling like a loser or without feeling like, um, you know, <laughs> listening to them, right? For example. So, those are like examples of like just different frameworks, but whatever framework you have, you can monetize because uh, you're providing a solution and that's something you can monetize, you know? So do you have an idea, Zach mm -hmm. or Marissa of like who you want to help and what you want to create with them? So I want to help. <laughs> I think I can say I want to help young people realize that they can be successful without formal education. Okay. So <clears throat> I help young, um, young adults um, create young adults um, create financial success or stability or um, not just financial, you mean just any type of success? What kind of success? <clears throat> well, it wouldn't be coaching. It would be more me interviewing someone who wasn't, who didn't have formal education. Okay. So, so it wouldn't be teaching him how to build a business. It wouldn't be that. Okay. So 
it's not teaching them how to business, but you're teaching them, you're helping them um, see another path to life than just school or something. Yeah, yeah. So <clears throat> I help yeah. young adults. Or um, corporate or nine to five. That's that's like same as my, you should listen to my podcast because like everyone I've interviewed are, they're like, <laughs> that's what they're doing. <laughs> um, so you help um, mm-hmm. young people you know i guess create or discover um ways of becoming financially free and achieving independence without Mm -hmm. without formal education pretty much you know something like that yeah but that's that's not like i mean that can be a coaching program but this is that's more this is more like your podcast so this you know i guess that could kind of work for that but uh but yeah, mm-hmm. that's that's uh I mean that's that fits the framework to some degree, you know. So that's good. Um uh, yeah, so that's good. Um Zach, do you do you have any more clarity on, on what you wanna do or if you wanna help? Um I help teach motivated I'm trying to think exactly how to phrase like the type of person. Yeah, I mean, just it's just, I mean, why did you want to do this in the first place? I guess that's a good question. Like, why? Because I, everything I've learned through my own healing process, my own journey, I know can help other people. Okay. Then, um, who were you? before this healing process, what, what were you like? And what was that person like? I was, uh, hopeless, helpless, And uh, there's a third one. I help people who are stuck. Like I was stuck. I was doing a lot and going nowhere. I was... So stuck as in like stuck with what? Okay. I was foggy, fizzy and busy and fatigued. I was craving better, but not sure what I wanted or how to get there. I was busy. I was always in motion, but not really going anywhere. And I was fatigued. I was spending energy in places that were giving nothing back. I was unfulfilled, losing time and energy and not living out my fullest potential. Okay. Um, so, so people who haven't reached their full potential, which is everybody, (laughs) you know, um, Mm -hmm. but you know, can you go more specific? I was willing to do the work to be the best or to be my best. Okay. So how about I help, um, I help people who feel stuck, lost, hopeless, um, but are willing to make a change to create um, the best version of themselves, you know, in health, wealth, relationships without, without, I mean, what's the, what's the pain point, you know, without what? Without having to spend years of their life without uh, realizing their potential or something like without, that? Without wasting years of their life. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that works. You know, I think, you know, that's, 
that's something that can work. Um, how how do we say that? You said, um, Marissa, do you or, or let me say? It. Do you it's, remember? Recorded. it's recorded. I can always watch it again. Yeah, yeah. So so it's like I hope people who are who feel stuck, you know, lost, hopeless, um, but are willing to make a change to create. Uh, the best version of themselves in health, wealth, and relationships without um, wasting years of their life. So that's an example of a framework. You know, there's a lot of other frameworks, um, but this is one of them um, to kind of help you see who you want to help and what desire, what you want to create for them, you know, without that pain point. And then <clears throat> this kind of helps you to, um, yeah, it just it helps you to, uh, be able to get clear on like who you want to help and what problem you want to solve for them, you know? So, so that's good. And, and like, you know, creating your ideal avatar is one of the most important things you will do in your business. It will become the core of your message, marketing and offerings. And your avatar is a filter through which all the other elements of your business are run. And so, you know, your avatar essentially would be you right because you you're basically helping the younger version of you um get to where you want get to where you're at you know and so the more that you think about yourself and the more that you see yourself in someone else you know the more that obviously you'll want to help them naturally but this can also turn into a business you know because you know people who pay pay attention that's like us the saying and so you can do that and, and, and charge them because you're giving them something that that's a value, you know, and um, something you could do for people and uh, help them out. And so, um, so yeah, I would say that's a good, um, I mean, that's a lot closer than at the beginning of the call. You know what I mean? Like getting, yeah, I can play with that for sure. Yeah. And then the more that you do this, the more that you're kind of like, okay, what is the framework? You know, what is, and, and Marissa, I think I shared it in the chat. The more that you get clear on that, the more you could start creating content that will attract that ideal avatar. And mm -hmm. then the more you share your story, you could also probably attract your ideal avatar as well. Mm -hmm. So, so those, and then this is an example of like a worksheet you could use, like your ideal client worksheet what's their sex, what's their age range, what's, what field are they, are they in, what are their interests. If you, if you had to describe the result that your work provides to your client in a single sentence, what would it be? And this should be clear, concise, and tangible. Um, so do you have an- Is this in the resources tab? Yeah, this is. It's, on, it's like, if you go way up, it's, it's, the, it's one of the ones there. Um, so if you had to describe the result that your work provides to your client in a single sentence, what would it be? Um, do you, I mean, do you know, Zach, or do you have an example? The result. They will be fulfilled, helping others, finding happiness and living out their dreams. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that still sounds pretty broad, but that's, that does help them to, um, you know, it kind of helps them get, get them clarity on what they can achieve, you know? Um, so, so basically anyone, you know, can create a service and, and product like this, but you just have to know who's your ideal client, you know, and how can your work help them out and what would that look like? Right. And so that's something to think about um, and do. So, yeah. And then you want to do high ticket, you know, you want to sell things that are like, you know, two to five grand, Yep. You know, for like a three month coaching, because if you unless if you have a lot of people who can pay 47 bucks, it's like, you know, that's not scale. I mean, that's scalable, but then it's not going to generate a lot, especially if you don't have a large following. So it's, it's better mm -hmm. to focus on a high ticket with a small audience and then um, solve a big and specific problem, you know. And so this is something that people are constantly, you know, changing and reworking but it's something that you could use for sure um and, and learn what to do or how to do it you know so um yeah hopefully that helps uh yeah it does for sure yeah you can look it up in the resources tab as well and then check check that out um but uh 
So you put it in the chat. I don't seem to see it. I think oh. I, wait, okay, no, I just. Wait, is it the same thing? Let me see. Uh, yeah, this is, is that one. It's the second one. You see mm-hmm. it? Yeah, I got it. It's that one. So, yeah. Other than that, you know, Marissa, if you're trying to do, you know, podcasting stuff, you can message me. I could help you out with that. But, uh, mm-hmm. but uh, yeah, I use Anchor for that. I don't yeah. Know if I check out my Anchor, but I've, um, yeah, that's what I've used. So that's yeah. Really. Good. Have you been doing it offline? Offline. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I used to do it offline. I just okay. uh, Yeah, but with the pandemic, I just did it over Zoom. But yeah. I also do um you know, uh I'll I'll probably keep doing it offline and stuff like that. But um I get to mm-hmm. go out in person and start doing that as well. But mm-hmm. yeah, I started in 2016. So four nice. Or, yeah, four years ago, 20 Yeah. But then it's you know, it's something that I've I've grown on Instagram, but not so much on YouTube. But I want to start focusing on YouTube, mm-hmm. and doing that because it's a long term game. But I was just like, you know what? Like, I should share these stories, and I I like learning from people too. Mm-hmm. So it's just like you know, it could I could see it going somewhere. Just need to work on it. Um, be consistent. Mm-hmm. But that's that's the hard part, right? Like for everyone here. Consistency yeah consistency that's the hard part showing up every week um especially when you're like hey i'm busy i don't have time for that i gotta make money and that's cool but you know what if it can turn into something that makes money as well and um if it's your passion Mm -hmm. to like you know inspire people make people better then this is a part of you know helping you become that right it's 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 it benefits you the most you know even if even if just one person or no one listens but me i'd still do it you know because that's I value that and it's um yeah because I like it you know um, so, mm-hmm. it so, just you sounds know, like a yeah like a conversation with a new friend yeah yeah essentially um and just people that you can network with and connect with and see how they're doing and see see how you're doing and you know mm-hmm. it could lead to other things in the future so podcasting is a great way to expand your network actually and you'd be surprised at how many people are, are willing to be on it because not many people get asked to be on podcasts, you know? Oh, really? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh. Like, like, I don't know. Do you? Do you... I was on the, the impression that Love because it. speakers can get paid to yeah. speak, it's on the same uh, effort level. What do you mean? Like getting paid to be on a podcast? Yeah, I thought that was a thing. Oh, you get oh like to pay to be on a podcast, you mean? Um, yeah, yeah. To pay someone as your guest. Oh, as like people guest. people get paid to be on your like you pay them to be on your podcast? Yeah, if it's if you can monetize it on it, wouldn't your guest be like, Well, where's my cut? Type of thing. Oh yeah, if you're selling something like with them, then yeah. But if you're mm, not okay. selling something, it's just it's just to share their story and, and get it out there, you know. Yeah. Yeah, but um, yeah, I want to have just dope conversations like Joe Rogan yeah. and just like make a bunch of money. <laughs> that's yeah. like because that's I I honestly was like yo podcasting you just like talk to cool people whoever you want and you get to make money like that's so awesome like, <laughs> i want to do that and so um that's why i did it actually but you know having I anchor helps you monetize a little bit but how yeah how does what's that platform yeah anchor it's um you know it's uh you don't know anchor i'll show you how it looks like let's see oh this is anchor so anchor is this um social media uh it's a it's a free um it's a free uh tool you could use yeah to host um uh podcast episodes Mm -hmm. so you could check out all these different. how do they monetize so they they monetize from um ads so you can have ads at the beginning of all your podcasts and stuff and then that's oh yeah 
And so you can see, oh, Brea, and people from Brea, that's where you grew up. So you could see, um, you know, where everyone is tuning in from and just kind of like who who's where and then yeah, that's why. podcast performance. And so it's just, and then if you want to use, um, you know, there's free uh, tools you could use for, what's it called? Um, making intros to your podcast, for example, like I use Fiverr. Mm-hmm. And then it just charges a little fee to make an intro for that podcast. So there's tools like that out there. Yeah, sure. But um, yeah, you could check those out and then see see how that works for you, Marissa. Mm-hmm. And, um, and then, yeah, I mean, it might seem daunting, you know, because podcasting for me, um, yeah, it's just kind of like, man, like I'm going to put myself out there into the world, like kind of seems scary. But if it's something that you're like, yeah, I've been doing, wanting to do this for a long time and I want to learn. And yeah, just definitely go and, and do it, and uh, you learn at least try. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, you gotta try. Yeah, I like what you said. You gotta at least try. Mm-hmm. Some people don't even try, and so yeah, you know, you gotta at least try and see where you go with it. Yeah. But people are afraid of trying because they're afraid of failing. They're afraid of for you know, sure. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. So and so, you dropped out of uni. You said. I did, yeah. So, so which university and what's your plan right now? For... Uh, so I'm in Canada. It was Ryerson University. Okay, Canada. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. And... I don't know that. <laughs> you don't know that? Yeah. What is it Canada? called? I'll look it up. <laughs> Ryerson. It's Ryerson in Toronto. Ryerson. Ryerson? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. So, what what <laughs> made you want to drop out? And, and uh, a writer, yeah, so, oh. yeah. I was in the architecture program and I was doing internships and design builds. And after being in the industry and networking with professors and professionals, it wasn't the thing for me, even things that weren't explicitly being an architect, like project management or interior design, those didn't interest me. So sure. at that point, I would be doing the degree just for the sake of finishing it, which would be a waste of my time. Okay, yeah. So so you're like, you knew this is not what I want to do. I want to do something else. Mm-hmm. So, so, so what is it? Mm-hmm. You don't do podcasting, but um, like I said, if there's something I would have told my self is like, hey, you got to find a way to monetize and, yeah. you know, early on, because then. Or you're going to work and do the podcast on the side, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, so that's essentially finding sponsors, right? Okay, yeah, sponsorships for your podcast? Yeah. Okay. Um, so you want to just grow the podcast and just find sponsorships for it? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm actually doing product design as well. Okay. So this would be like another side thing. Okay, so you're doing product design and podcasting mm-hmm. on the side. Mm-hmm. Okay, then that, that could help build your personal brand too. Right, like I don't want to just monetize it without having something, like a platform. Yeah, you want to build something to pitch for. Yeah. A community, yeah. So you want to build a community mm-hmm. around, around just entrepreneurs who are wanting to do their own thing or people mm-hmm. who want to do their own thing sounds like it mm-hmm. okay that's pretty cool yeah I'm, I'm i'm also doing that too i have a facebook group i just haven't posted in it in a while mm-hmm. should <laughs> um but everything like with the pandemic is moving towards you know online communities i'm sure you guys yeah have seen that or it's discord posted. have you seen that, that yeah emojis? yeah yeah i've seen yeah. Discord as well what do you do you think that's better than the Facebook? The great thing about Discord is that you can have more organized chats. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm in some and so there's one for like stocks and other stuff but Yeah, and you see the tabs, you can have them way more organized. Yeah, like the organized by topic, yeah. Organization of the tabs, yeah. Yeah, and their search feature is much much more robust than Facebook. 
so okay. you're able to reference back say if someone said something important in oh wow in your chat. yeah yeah there's one there's one for stocks like there's there's a stock one low-key stocks mm-hmm. this girl she's killing it with her discord group and oh, nice. um, yeah she's just like, how many people i don't know i don't know how to check on here it's, it should be on the top like if you look at the drop down menu on the on the left side here yeah here on the top um, left here or? do you scroll scroll up no uh, where you were before members R- uh on the top left oh this one yeah yeah okay yeah what do is I there a scroll there's no scroll doesn't say scroll mm, dang yeah. hmm do you have like a general channel a general one uh it says just new bfaq stocks and options uh no like not a general one but they have or maybe premium testimonials about us yeah maybe that and then click uh on the top on hashtag above us about us i clicked it nothing i don't know mm. yeah it's not working like i don't know how to see how many people are member here. list yeah oh yeah i clicked that but then it's not um doesn't have a lot of stuff on here hmm Trusted member. Oh, trusted member. There's like seven. Respected ranger. There's six. Sapphire. Platinum. So it shows you for that platinum and stuff. But I don't know how the other things work. This girl's a beast, though. She's killing it mm-hmm. with what she's doing. But yeah, it's better than Slack. I, I like, you know, I was using Slack, like, and I have mm-hmm. all these resources tabs. But then Discord, you could have that and more, right? Sounds mm-hmm. like, yeah. I just don't know how it works, so I gotta learn how to use that. <laughs> but um, yeah, um, Zach, definitely check that part out. And then Marissa, um, if you, yeah, if if you if you if, if you're trying to do podcasts, I could definitely um help out with uh, just if you're like, man, how do I set up Anchor and you know for the intro and outro, what do I do? I could help um setting that up. Uh, if if you want uh, help with that or stuff, yeah. Yeah, I'd love that. Yeah, so just just um, you do need an intro and um, outro as well, but I would say just think of a name first. What what name do you want it to have? I haven't thought of that yet. Yeah, not yet. Name is gonna be huge, you know. So mm-hmm. name is gonna be huge for that. So um yeah but but brainstorm that and then you know it's what kind of product design do you do interesting e-com okay so you design things for Mm -hmm. Mm e-commerce okay very cool um cool e-com stores uh like what kind of e-com stores products jewelry currently jewelry jewelry yeah oh wow okay um interesting that's cool um you know like ben baller and stuff i don't who is this man oh <laughs> who is this man ben baller he's like this uh korean jeweler dude who who is um is he from new york i'm not sure he's like uh ben baller he's uh i'm not even sure he does uh this is not your practice life <laughs> Ben Baller. Mm-hmm. This is uh yeah, he he's just like this Korean jeweler dude. And um yeah, he 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 makes jewelry for a lot of Oh wow. Yeah. 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 So that's that's what he does. But um yeah, you could you could he's a jeweler. I don't know what product design you're into exactly, but that's cool. Um <coughs> but yeah, other than that, I think that's pretty much um yeah i mean that's it and zach i think if you work on that formula sheet that should help and then um and then if if you're trying to grow that page to 10k that business one 
you know, uh, I could send you the 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 Stripe as well, Zach. Um, if you What's want Stripe. So Stripe is an online payment processor oh. that, that I've been using, and you could use that to take payments from um, people online and clients. And so, uh, yeah, that's another tool that I learned as I'm as I'm doing coaching. But um, Zach, if you want if you want to grow that page to 10k, we could do that uh, as well for you um, to get that going. You know? Okay. Yeah. Um, do I need? To, I mean, I need to get my. Yeah, I need to get my avatar figured out and get my content strategy. And then, sure. yes. Okay, then um, then do you want me to send that invoice and get you growing on that business account? Do you have that made yet? Do I what? Like, do you want the business? Have you made the business account yet to grow? Uh, no, I need to create a new one. Okay. Yeah, because then, then I could start growing that one to 10K then. And then, um, you know, uh, yeah, and do the handle the payment that way. Yeah, will that, I, will that get, I don't like, well, I don't want to get the page necessarily just to 10K though. I want to get the yeah. page in front of people who are potential clients. Yeah. And then you could use, um, I'll show you tools to use for that. Like I, I just shared that one tool, um, like GoSo as well. But then, that's it's because you're in the program you're going to get to 10k anyways right on mm. page and it just helps for if you want if you wanted to look have that you know that the branding wise it to be to 10k and for you to get the swipe up that's what I, I could do for you you know okay for sure and um, well, yeah let me create the brand and figure out what it is and then yes yeah let me know when you do that and then we could get that um going and and start start growing that page and then start posting content for you on there, you know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can you do that by tonight or when can you do that? Why? Well, considering I have no revenue, as we talked about, it's probably gonna have to be a couple. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll for sure have money coming in next month. Yeah, no, I mean, for your, just getting your page made, your Instagram page. Yeah. Oh, getting that made. Um, you just get it made, like yeah, it's like as soon as possible, you know. Even oh, yeah. I mean, that's gonna be my. Yeah, I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna do the avatar worksheet and figure out. Exactly, I gotta figure out what this brand is, and then create it. Okay. Yeah. Let me know. Message me when you do. Yeah. And then we'll we'll talk about that. So. Cool. Um, but uh, yeah, then that you guys have any questions or anything you want to ask or. Yeah. Thank you. No. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I just, have, I have a lot of work to do is where I kind of landed. Yeah. I, I think it's just focus, you know, like you gotta, I mean, did, didn't you pay for the Jared's thing? The. Uh, no, I, everything I paid for from Jared I, was money I gave him last year. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I previous, I previous, I put a lot of money into Jared. Or I put a lot of money into Jared last year in different ways, and so everything I'm doing, everything I'm doing has already been paid for. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so the boot camp thing he was talking about, or he was telling people about. Yeah, the boot camp. Cool. Just went the one. There's one. We went on one just last weekend. There's one next month and then another one the month after that okay dope um cool um yeah well you know if you guys have questions just you know i i do free uh, you guys get my emails right anyway so i do the q a's on monday so marissa you know those are free um q a's but then um but yeah Zach, zach's part of my coaching thing uh, i was you, you heard in the email so i have like a whole resource on slack of like things that um that I made for people like from your avatar to how to do, you know, coaching and convert people from coaching to, um, so yeah, empathy map, but, um, just implement that for you, Marissa, I would say, you know, start thinking of a name. Yeah. So by Monday you could show up and be like, Hey, I have a name for this. I want to do that. Yeah. And then Zach, um, show up on Monday with like, uh, an Instagram page made, and then have an idea, you know, write out, you know, fill out that avatar worksheet 
and then just like get clear on who you want to serve. And then for you, like you're getting leads already, Zach, like, are you getting them on calls? You said you're getting them on calls right now. I have been, I shut down that lead source <laughs> because it wasn't producing the right types of leads. So I'm not getting leads anymore. All right, cool. Well then once you have your avatar thing worked out on Monday, we could go over like what kind of post should we create to attract that avatar, you know, on your Instagram or your business page, you know? Okay. Yeah. And so, so just get that avatar thing filled out and then we'll go over like content we can make. And then um, Marissa, check out Anchor and look at yeah. the podcast name you want to have. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go from there, you know? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Come on. So, yeah. And then check the YouTube because I have, you know, um, recordings of this as well, but I'll share this, Zach, and um, yeah, definitely just go and implement it. And then, um, yeah, I'll see you. I'll see you guys on Monday. Sounds good. Yeah, I'll be yeah. there Monday with a profile. I'll be there on Monday with a lot of stuff done. I'll, I'll have a lot of time. I'll have a lot of time this weekend. All righty. Sounds sounds like a plan, man. Okay. All right, All right guys. Well, I'll thank see you. Guys. Yeah, I'll see you guys on Monday. Later. All right.